Yo, what is going on guys? Time Stopper here, coming back at you another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, in this video, we are talking about Pick or Pass. Now, for you guys that are new to the Pick or Pass series, this is where we're going to break down a pack offer that's in the shop. It's generally going to be one of these builder packs to determine, does it make sense to even pick this up or should you be passing on it? So, let's jump into the video. Okay, so first and foremost, keep in mind that with any of these packs, generally there's going to be multiple price points that you're going to see it offered at. Some are going to be low, some are going to be high, but the math behind it stays solid when we look at the value. So it doesn't matter whether your pack costs $30, $50, or $100, generally it's going to be around the same value, and that's what we're trying to figure out, is the value right on these packs. So with the builder packs, it's generally going to be one of these four box scenarios like this where you can go ahead and pick one option for each box and build your own pack, if you were, to figure out does it make sense. Now, we know that we can use the offer calculator to try to figure out whether or not you should put something in a pack. Each item is going to have different values for every individual, depending on whether it's important to them. So where I'm at, a four star chicken doesn't mean a whole lot to me in the game, but a shard might mean more. For you, maybe you're working on progression still and a four-star chicken has more value. The offer calculator just tells us the raw value of something that Plarium believes it at. We look at a retail value of what they think it's valued at, and then we look at what we would actually pay for an item. So when we look at retail values of items, they're always going to look inflated because that's what they believe them to be at, but that's never what we're gonna pay for something. So it's important to remember that when we go through this. So let's first take a look at this. We've got four boxes here. In the first box, we have an option for 12 void shards, 24 ancient or two sacreds. So if we go over and we grab the offer calculator real quick, we can go ahead and plug these items in here. So we're just trying to figure out what is the best possible value we can get out of this first, okay? So we got 24 ancients as an option, 12 voids or two sacreds. So we can see over here, the retail value of these items, $48 on the ancients, 72 on the voids, 48 on the sacreds. So that automatically tells us the best possible value on this would be to get the 12 void shards. So all we have to do is go back here, tell it we want the 12 void shards. Now, next box, we have eight voids, we have three immortal stones, and 20 mortal stones. So again, we just do the same thing. We go back over here, we say, let's go ahead and clear those out. We've got eight void shards, which is a value of $48. We can go over here where we have the value for mortal stones. And we know that we have 20 of those or three immortal. So we've got $40 worth of value on mortal, 42 worth of immortal, and we have 48 worth of void shards. So if we're looking for best value, we still got to go with the eight void shards. Now, it looks like we got the same mortal and immortal stones here, but this time they're giving us 16 ancients as an option. So if we go up here and we plug in 16 ancient shards, I think that's the ancient. Okay, yep, 16. That's only a $32 value now. So if we're trying to extract maximum value out of this, we would just simply go over here and look at whichever one's higher. It's gonna be immortal stones at this point. So we would pick those. And then down here, same with the Immortal and Mortal, but this time they're going to give us a Sacred Shard to pick from. So again, we would just go over here. We would clear out the Ancient Shard, pop in the Sacred Shard. That's only going to be a $24 retail value. So again, Immortal Stones is going to be our best option. So right now, this would be the maximum value you could extract out of this possible package on mine. So we know that it's being sold at $100. So if we put in everything that we could get maximum out of it, that would be six immortal stones and 20 void shards. So if we pop that in there, that's going to give us an overall offer score of 2.04. So only in the yellow, meaning it's good, but it's not excellent. So does that mean that you should pick it up or you should pass on it? Well, that's gonna depend on whether or not you value those items because the truth is, depending on how you build this, is going to matter. 
For me, I'm not a huge Void Shard guy, so most likely I would take the Void Shards in the first box, but I might even go with the Stones in the second box. So maybe you end up with nine here, maybe you end up with 12 Void Shards. Obviously, that's going to make your value completely different over here. And as you can see, that's going to slowly erode down at your overall value because now I'm down to a 1.98. So will I be picking it up or will I be passing on it? I am going to be giving this a pass. I still think the value of these stones is far too high overall, but hey, everyone's different. What you value stuff at can be completely different. I just think there's too much RNG on these right now for me to say, yeah, you should go ahead and get this, especially at $100. That's a lot of money to spend. Granted, you can get two of them, so you could get some great RNG and pick yourself up some great awakenings, but I just don't think it's worth it. But guys, let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you're going to go ahead and pick up, or are you going to pass on it? And if you're picking it up, let me know. How did you pick it up? What did you go with for your options in the boxes? I'd love to hear your responses in the comments down below. But guys, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Of course, if you do like daily raid content, subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the world to me. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm so that my videos can be shown to more awesome raid players like yourself. And of course, as always, until next time, be good.